It's week 15 of the National Football League. And come... They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll be out right at the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On play action, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Harris running straight ahead. 20, 10, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. around his goal line. Here's Allen. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Take it a couple yards shy of midfield. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And some space here. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. You look at this Cowboy defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And? Too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Allen going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs!
They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. Allen now looks to throw. And this one is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. First down, and they go back to Harris. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And the Bills at 9-4 now on the year. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So you know they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result. And this is caught. Touchdown. Gabriel David. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's going to let it go again. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. From midfield, here's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And again, it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Allen. That is incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On second down, this is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one will wind up being down just outside of that 20 yard. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. 27 yards there, a first down. to throw it's Allen this is caught it's Hardy and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30 chewing up big yardage another nice game there this one goes for 20 throwing on first down is Allen incomplete so another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And bringing it in, it's Davis. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch it. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Play action. Now it's Allen. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson Knox, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. This is why a lot of play... They'll start the drive with Harris. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The stop for no gain brings up second and ten from the 20. Here's Allen to throw it. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. That's quickly out wide to Davis. And a few little style points on the juke, but not much room to maneuver after that. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. Ball on the 39. Here's second and five. Allen going to audible to a different look. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 105 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On play action, Allen. Shakir holds it in. 
And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Allen. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here. You're looking at right about a 52-yarder. They hand this off to Harris. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. But well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. Now a first down carry for Harris. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. They run again with Harris. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. Now first and goal. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Allen, Harris, going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here's Allen. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late. now for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. So Dak and the Cowboys down 35-31. A little over 30 seconds remaining. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. And they'll get him down after a gain of seven, but they'll happily give him that. Prescott. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return here will go to the third. And come from
the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see Geno Smith. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Seahawks and the Eagles, and it comes your way next. We are just south of Pioneer Square here in the great northwest city of Seattle at newly named Lumen Field, home of the 12s. Today on the week 15 in the NFL. And we... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Here's a second and five. And now a handoff to Charbonnet. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. Now it's Smith. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. On the give here, Charbonnet. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Myers' kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still... Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complementary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change, a quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense, and the win column will result. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. Here's Ward to return. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. Off of play action. Here's Smith. A quick throw, but incomplete. The Seahawks at 5-8, three games under 500. 
Now they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing again is Smith. And that's going to be caught downfield by Finn. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now run by Charbonnet. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And Charbonnet once again. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So the scoring drive. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Gino. And it's knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Finding Smith and Jigba downfield. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, Smith. He'll find Metcalf. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't. They'll begin here with a run with Charbonnet. And a short pickup to...
and seven. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Smith on first down. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Now they'll start on the ground with Charbonnet. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. A gain of three, second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Play action. It's Smith. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 14 yards that time for number 14. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. They'll run it here with Charbonnet. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 60 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Geno now to throw. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawks touchdown. A great effort there. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now Gino on first down. He gets away from one, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against the secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Brandon Graham, great pursuit there, getting the tackle for loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back to throw, Smith. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. 
but a drop under 50%. That just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Here's Smith. And that is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Smith's going to throw it. Big strides, look at him go. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Here's first and ten. Smith. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold it. An important piece of business to take care of the extra point. Cut the lead down now to a touchdown. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Again, it's Penny. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. And they'll indeed take a knee. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles and we talk